E il prossimo intervento ci porta a Torino dove la professoressa Marinella Belluatti dell'Università di Studi di Torino al Dipartimento di Cultura Politica e Società e sociologa è specializzata in comunicazione europea pubblica e politica se non sbaglio ci parlerà di Communicating Europe to Create Citizenship hai la parola Marinella e tante grazie per il tuo contributo Good morning to all participants at this very, very important uh, conference and uh, to this very important project, uh, UNITA. I am very honored to be, uh, to, uh, be involved. Uh, I'm very sad not to be here. Unfortunately, the situation is not, uh, is not just so uh, clear and uh, I'm in Torino and I try to present and my, uh, my work. I'm Marinella Belluati from Turin uh, and uh, I'm the coordinator of the Jamone module COEUR, Communicating Europe. And now I will present uh, the, the, some uh, general theoretical framework uh, of my study. I try to share my uh, screen. Okay. Uh, uh, I would like to, to introduce my speech with uh, uh, um, some quotation of uh, important uh, voices uh, that uh, are um, uh, studied, uh, reflected on uh, this, uh, uh, the European integration processes, are important both cultural and normative voices. I start with uh, Edgar Morin that says, European identity often appear more as a tumultuous disorder than an integrated processes. Pippa Norris says European culture has always presented itself as a polycentric and polymorphous space made up of cultural, religion, geographical and political diversity. And at the end, the most important voices of Jürgen Habermas that uh, reflecting on European uh, integration processes says, The process of European integration must not be a spasmodic search to build common rules. It cannot only the, by philosophical condition or economical rationality that keep Europe together. But what must work is the possibility for different social identity to access rights. Uh, this uh, uh, quotation, these voices uh, represent the complexity of uh, uh, European integration processes uh, and uh, um, the history of uh, trust in Europe uh, is a sequence of stops and stars. Uh, uh, in a current time, for example, from economic crisis in, in 2008 uh, to more recent, recent pandemic situation, the level of trust in EU having a fluctuating trend. Paradoxically, the recent sanitarian crisis uh, and the big plan of resilience are giving more power to the European integration processes and uh, European institutions are trying to relaunch a new vision of Europe. I remember the Conference for the Future of Europe of the Bauhaus Europe are not only symbolic program but could be very substantial uh, opportunity to relaunch the, a new idea of Europe. Europe is a, an horizon in terms of democracy and social value. A bank against uh, the drift towards some illiberal tendencies, I, I, I hope uh, integralism, authoritarianism, conspiracy, and against the perverse effect of new form of aggressive capitalism. From my point of view, the media action is one of the most important factors to defend the quality of democracy. A high quality media system that can hold the uh, government, social and political power broke to account, to account is essential for democracy and the promotion of European identity. However, Over recent decades, news media has faced unprecedented challenges, including the rise of digital media and the increasing 
presence of misinformation in the public discourses. The main reasons is a lack of European public sphere, firstly due to a persistent democratic deficit that has the counterbalance in its it is infor, uh, information ones. In my presentation, I will examine this media landscape and the risk, but also the opportunities being imposed for the European integration. Sorry. For me, it's crucial the definition of uh, what is the European public sphere. Uh, Abermas is the first uh, author that define the concept of public sphere, but I would like to refer to uh, Fossum and Ericsson definition that for me are, uh, are very, very important in my studies. European public sphere is a shared space for free communication that is secured by the right of and freedom of expression and association, 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 where issues emerge and are thematized, where opinions and ideas increase, helping decision making agency and to make decisions. It's very important, this, uh, this uh, concept, because summarize a complex idea of European public sphere. European, what, what do, do you do, you, uh, must do the European uh, public sphere? Habermas said that a public sphere should be a democratic, affordable place where individuals can discuss the issue of collective interest. And uh, European public sphere uh, is a communicative space of debating for social integration and political value. But, but European public sphere is a multi-level regulatory plan that involves the national, supranational, local, regional level altogether and involves a multi-actor network for uh, public, political and private sector. Sorry, uh, sector. European public sphere must, uh, should be an idea of a post-national identity that, that not cancel other kind of identity and for this is need for the euro for the european uh, public scene to have a european media system integrated until now in the european public space uh, are functioning two different uh, communication models the first major is a domestic idea of public sphere uh, Europeanized, where national media and political uh, agenda put the European matter in a national perspective and the role of Europe remains in the second stage. The main media co national coverage uh, uh, usually focus your attention on the uh, uh, national uh, leader uh, involved in Europe. The second, the second model is minor, but very, very interesting to create it, European integration and European citizen is uh, the growing of a Europeanization of a public sphere. And uh, what is this uh, concept? You, uh, 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 public uh, sphere uh, um, Europe, uh, Europeanized is a, a public sphere when the ground of European economic, social and financial power produced uh, European narrative and European frames and where European leaders uh, are uh, able to influence a uh, European agenda. I think to the role of uh, uh, the president uh, of commission von der Leyen that are trying to use they, uh, their place, their position to spread this idea that, that there is a leadership in Europe and not a national uh, one. The role of communication from my point of view uh, uh, is crucial. Uh, to create European integration, but it's a complex to understand what is the European communication in terms of institutional balance, supranational power, communication environment, and also in a linguistic factor. It's very uh, difficult to imagine uh, what a, a European communication to put. 
the digital, uh, the new digital society is representing a new challenge and a new communication opportunity at the same. In this scenario, the role of EU public communication is considered relevant in two different ways. The first, to uh, create a cognitive capital reinforcing common value and producing public and social good. And second, to improve deliberative democracy and public engagement practices. European institutions are trying to define uh, policy recommendation guideline to uh, improve, uh, to, uh, um, to involve the, uh, all media, national media system uh, in, uh, in, in a good communication about Europe. In the recommendation, uh, European uh, institution uh, recommend that the news about Europe must be debated at the same time and with the similar attention in each member state. And also the European issue must be more relevant, should be more relevant in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in every uh, member state. It does not happen, I don't know, in Spanish, but in Italian, the coverage of me, European action is very, very poor, is very, very uh, um, uh, wrong in some, in, uh, in, uh, some way. And uh, uh, also the European uh, decisional action must be more visible and more clear, uh, it must be who should be more explained to the public opinion. Uh, 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 maybe this idea of a transnationality community should be well explained to the public opinion is not a, a, an obstacle for other kind of uh, uh, identity or uh, uh, national uh, traditional uh, level. Is, uh, and uh, the public narrative about Europe should um, should use a European frame to explain the complexity uh, of uh, globalization, of, of uh, the, the complexity of uh, the, the current situation. Uh, I, 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 uh, I think about the, uh, the, the sanitary crisis uh, is very important to explain is not only a local or national question, is a, a global question. And in this frame, uh, the information, the news must be uh, intervened to explain, to well explain. But uh, European institutions uh, um, suggest also to use a critical gaze uh, to, to, to improve, to, to stimulate a constructive action uh, uh, towards European action. And the last, uh, uh, the policy recommendation recommend to avoid using Europe as a scapegoat to cover up the failure of national policy. And the end. Over the past 20 years, much uh, has changed in the media communication environment at the global level, not only at the national or local level. Digitalization, platformization, algorithmization have produced a deep change in the social structure. In order to better understand this complexity, it is necessary to have national media system well more integrated in a, in a European media uh, um, one. It's very important for the national media system to, um, to insert their uh, news production in a more general framework, the European framework. EU institutions have greatly invested in its uh, public and political communication, as demonstrated by the high number of regulatory acts guideline often forces resistance of the member states. The, to help bolster media in Europe and promote uh, democracy, the European Commission has launched a twin initiative, the European Democracy Action Plan and the European Media Action Plan. 
These plans are strictly interrelated with the aim to empower citizens and build a more resilient democracies across the EU. Standing up to challenge to our democratic system for rising, for rising extremism and perceived distance between people and uh, political, this action plan should promote free and fair elections, for example, strain media freedom and counter disinformation. More concretely, the, the European Commission will propose legal action on political advertising that will address the sponsor of paid content and producing and distribution channel, including online platforms. There are a crucial uh, role, the online platform, in to create information and misinformation in European public space and clarify their respective responsibility in creating misinformation or good information. I would like to close my intervention with the, the voices of the president of commission, Ursula von der Leyen, uh, where he launched uh, the, the two action plan. She says, with the digital revolution underway, citizens must be able to choose where views can be expressed free, freely. Facts have to be distinguished from fiction. And free media and civil society must be able to participate in an open debate, free from malign interference. Therefore, in the EU, is taking action to make our democracy in the EU more resilient. Thank you for your attention. Gracias. <laughs> and grazie per l'attenzione. Grazie tante Marinella per il tuo intervento.